Hello and welcome to this tutorial video covering the start screen for AirMagnet Wi-Fi Analyzer Pro. The start screen is the first screen seen when launching Wi-Fi Analyzer Pro. It is split into two main areas. The information on the left hand side of the screen will remain in place even when I'm changing the tabs in the right hand area. Staying on the left hand side, the upper part of the screen is the RF signal meter. This provides an overview of the RF signal quality on all the available channels being scanned, each channel being represented by a bar. The bars implement a high watermark feature that shows the highest historical RF signal recorded on each channel. The upper portion shows the 2.4 GHz band. The lower portion shows the 5 GHz band. The bars are color coded. For 2.4 GHz, green indicates that access points or stations are being detected on the channel. Brown denotes cross-channel interference being detected on the channel, and red indicates that noise is being detected on that channel. For the 5 GHz band, access points and stations are denoted by the light blue color. Cross-channel interference is shown as dark blue, and again, red indicates noise. The RF signal meter can be expanded by clicking in the upper right corner. The expanded view will display signal strength, noise level, signal to noise ratio, interference on each channel using separate graphs. Below the RF signal meter is an overview of key statistics on my wireless network. I can see the number of SSIDs detected, the number of ad hoc stations that have been seen, as well as a quick infrastructure breakdown. I can also see my current airwise posture showing me the sum total of alarms, both performance and security. In the lower left is our frame count window. This shows a tabulation of all frames Air Magnet Wi Fi Analyzer has captured on your wireless network. These are broken down by broadcast, multicast, and unicast. Additionally, I can see how many valid CRCs I've received and a percentage of CRC failures. Now I'll move to the main portion of the screen. I have five tabs to choose from. Dashboard, which gives a configurable overview of my network. A tab for all devices. APs. Stations. And ad hoc networks. Currently, we're looking at the dashboard view. My dashboard view can be configured by clicking the dashboard selection button at the top. I can move informational items in and out of the dashboard or restore the default dashboard. Looking at the tables for devices, APs, stations, or ad hoc, the format is essentially the same. This is a basic filter showing all devices, only APs, only client devices, or only ad hoc networks. The tables are sortable by column. I can also drag the column headings to reorder them as I see fit. I can easily add or remove columns by right-clicking on any column and choosing Set Display Columns. Now I can drag and drop the headings to change my display. The colors for the MAC addresses in this table show me when the last time a particular device was seen. Items in green were seen as active within the last 5 seconds. Items in yellow were seen within the last 5 to 60 seconds. Items in red have not been seen for 60 to 300 seconds. And items that are gray have been inactive for greater than 300 seconds. There's also a bubble help feature to help me get information about any particular item in these lists. The bubble help is context sensitive tips screen that's available for signal meter, 802.11 information, airwise advice, and data device sections of the screen. If you wish to disable bubble help, you can do so by clicking on Show Hide Bubble Help button at the top. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and thank you for choosing AirMagnet Wi-Fi Analyzer Pro.